Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco, episode 4 of our Let's Play series. Just trying to devise a plan for today. I think my priority needs to be my house. My house and food. Because both having a good house with lots of furniture and having good food give you XP bonuses. And, I mean, let's be real. I need, because I'm playing by myself, I'm going to need every single skill. Eventually, so... What I need to do is I need to maximize my XP boosts. So that means I need to focus on my house and I need to focus on food. Because um, I need I need those levels. So we're going to expand our house. We're going to get multiple rooms here. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will give us a nice XP boost. That's the plan for today anyway. I am going to go get started by chopping down some trees. And we will go from there. So step one in expanding our house is we got to clear out this dirt so we can put floor down instead so to an aid in that we made ourselves a little cart here so this cart's pretty dandy i like the cart just pick it up ordinarily we'd have to just run all the way over to our stockpile now to be fair <laughs> we could have put the stockpile closer but we didn't and you know it is what it is ordinarily we have to run back and forth back and forth but with the cart we can grab it put it in the cart Grab it, put it in the cart. I love the cart. The cart's got that much in it right now. We're going to just take it. Oh, how do we pull a cart? All right. We run over by the stockpile. Well, not really run. <laughs> Haul it over. And then how do we get it out? That's the question. Just drag it in. Yeah, we just drag it in the stockpile. It's that easy. Look at that. Look how easy that was. We are so smart. I like this card. I like the the mechanic of using the card. It makes sense. I wish more games took advantage of things like this. Give you it gives you tools to deal with the crappy things. All right, so now that we got our cart, we're going to keep digging. And then we're going to start building. I guess we're going to need to mine some of this stuff up. That's fine, because we could use the stone anyway. So it's all good. I'll be back when we got this all dug out. So I was starting to get hungry. And I can make lots of stuff that gives me vitamins and carbs. But I don't have a lot of stuff that gives protein and fat. I mean, I could go hunting animals, but I want to leave the animals. I want to save those till I have butchering and I have the hunting skill. I want to try to be efficient. So I was looking through to see what options I had, and I noticed a charred camas bulb. And I noticed it gives three protein, six fat, and then some carbs and protein, or carbs and vitamins. So if I could get some of these, that would solve my problem. So then I went into the map, and I looked at the camas population. And it looks like they are in this biome right here. So I'm going to go on a camas bulb adventure. Hopefully. I have no idea what these look like. Like That's beans. More beans. More beans. Huckleberries. Now I'm getting to see how we're running into space though. But I mean I'm going to pick up these huckleberries and beans. But what does the camas bulbs look like? We are in the right area. Yeah, okay, so right over here it says. Right is the hot spot. There? No. Is it something we need a tool? I'm inclined to believe maybe it's this. But maybe we need a tool to get it? Alright, well I'm going to play around a little bit. And I'll be back once I figure this out. Because I will figure this out. Alright, so I figured it out. It is these things. And you just dig them with the shovel. Camus bulb. Beautiful. Alright, so let's go on a little camus adventure here. Get a bunch of camus bulbs. We'll go back. Fire those on the fire. And that will give us our protein and fat needs. Somewhat. I mean, it's not going to be completely balanced, right? But we can eat... Because uh, it was more... It was more fat than protein, right? But we can eat this or this to balance it out, right? Yeah. 
Well, this is the uncharted words. Once we chart them, they'll be even better. So that should be a somewhat balanced diet. I mean, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but that should be good. That should give us a nice little XP boost. I think. I hope. Why can't I get this one? There we go. That one was being uh, being kind of rude. All right, so we're going to go. I'm just going to keep doing this till I have, uh, I don't know, maybe 40 or 50. And then I'm going to head back, cook them up, and I will resume project make a bigger house. All right, we're back. We're going to cook up some camas bulbs here. We might as well cook all. We'll cook 50. We won't cook all 60 that we got. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that pretty much ends us. I, I also have uh, I got some salads, too, in here. Where are the salads at? Right here. This good solid salad. So you combine this with the charred canvas bulbs, I feel like that'll be a pretty good balance. That's the hope anyway. So we'll eat a couple of these salads. Now we just need a couple of charred canvas bulbs to balance that out. And I feel like we'll be in good shape. And some of our canvas bulbs are done, so we'll take take them out. Chomp down on them beautiful so see that's up to our xp modifiers up to 181 it was down to like 170 so that was it was worth the effort and it wasn't even that much effort luckily we were near a biome that had canvas bulbs so now that we have all kinds of energy it's time to go back to uh the project over here it's coming we got uh we got some dug out here just gonna have to dig out some stone as well and then we'll go back to digging out the dirt and then then we'll build a nice big house should be good all right, we cleared out a whole bunch of dirt and whatnot. So now we got a whole bunch of space to put down some flooring for my brand new house. We did fill a stockpile and a half of dirt <laughs> or so. So now we've, we've waged a successful war on dirt. Now it's time to wage war on trees. We're going to have to cut down a lot of trees to make a lot of wood and uh, hewn logs for the house I will probably come back with an update before we're done I'm not gonna go away and I'm not gonna do it all in one one shot that's for sure but I will be back with an update soon and I just realized while I was out uh, waging war on the forest that uh, I can use the cart for this as well I can instead of having to run back constantly I can just load up the cart put a lot of wood in that cart actually there's a lot of wood in this oak tree too, so it kind of works out. I would have had to run back three, maybe four times, four trips, just to get all this wood. Now I can make one trip with the cart, and I can actually probably put uh, this tree in there as well. So uh, yeah, get yourself a cart as soon as you can, <laughs> if you're a noob at this game, like I am. Well, somewhat a noob anyway. I mean, not that my base is that far, but, I mean, as time goes on, I will have to go further and further for wood, right? So, so yeah, use the cart. Do yourself a favor. Save yourself some trouble. But I will say one thing about single player is I feel like I will not have to worry nearly as much about running out of materials <laughs> as you would in a, uh, in a big co-op uh, server. So that's good, at least. I don't think I ever have to worry about, you know, not having any trees to cut by myself. As long as I'm careful and I plant some eventually and, you know, all that. Which I will. I'll be responsible. I'll be a good boy. I promise. Alright, so it's coming along pretty good. We got a big chunk of the floor done. We actually ran out of hardwood, so we're going to have to go find some more hardwood. I know that stuff's all softwood. I'm not sure what these trees are, but these up there, that's definitely hardwood. So we can go up there, finish those, fin cut those down to finish off the floor. Uh, we got a lot of softwood in the, the, whatchamacallit, stockpile over here. So that should be enough to finish the walls at least. Actually, if we process these, because I think these are mostly, ooh, I think these are hardwood. Yeah, no, these ones. I don't know, some of it, some of it's hardwood, but we got a lot of softwood, human logs already. Be enough to finish the walls for sure. Maybe even get a 
good chunk of the ceiling in. But right now we're going to have to go up and cut down some more hardwood trees here so we can finish the floor. Can't do much without the floor. So this is a cedar. Yeah, cedar. That's hardwood, I'm pretty sure. So by the time I come back, I think it might be done, actually. I'm hoping. I sure hope so. It's actually going pretty good. It's not taking as long as I thought it was going to. Um, I haven't been timing it or anything, but... Yeah, I remember what I was saying earlier about my food, like my XP modifier now. It's up to 191, which is nice, because before it was like 170-something. So we eat a couple more camas bulbs, 191.7, stomach is full. So yeah, so that's going pretty good. Uh, so we get another skill point in 2 hours, 20 minutes. We can always speed that up by going to bed. Um, that 2 hours, 20 minutes. I did it earlier just to kill a couple hours. And just to test it, and it went by pretty quick. But, of course, if we do that, that means the meteor's coming that much sooner as well. I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be that tight. I think I'm going to be okay for the meteor. But I don't know. So I don't want to use the bed to speed up time to get skill points yet. As much as I would love extra skill points. Maybe once I get the house, and if I get an, a nice big XP modifier from the house as well, maybe then I'll lay down for a bit, get a skill point or two. And then we'll go from there. But I got to get my house first. So I'll be back when that is done. All right. So I just realized something. I'm almost done. I'm getting close. Floor is done. Walls are largely done. Started a little bit on the roof there. Uh, but I realized that I haven't claimed this. <laughs> so I don't know if I get the XP bonus if I haven't claimed it yet. So uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure all this space is claimed. I don't even know if I have enough, actually. Okay, so that one's already claimed. Claim this one. This one. How many papers do I have? Ten more. It's going to be tight. <laughs> Claim it all. Because this isn't claimed yet. This isn't claimed yet. Oh, I wonder if the reason we were not getting a boost for this room is because it's not claimed. Is that why it's blue? Because it counts as a room? I'm curious. I'm curious to see what will happen if we claim this. Nothing. Alright, so that's not why we weren't getting XP then. Probably. How many pieces of paper do we have left? Four, three... Is that going to be just the perfect amount? No, we're going to be short. But I think every time we claim a skill, we get more papers, right? So I'm going to go ahead and claim a skill. I think I'm going to do masonry. Oh, no, we have to do, we have to discover masonry first. So we will do that here shortly. Okay, we still have two papers, so let's claim this. I thought we already claimed this, but apparently not. And this one. So we still have to get three more, it looks like. So yeah, why is this blue and why is this red? I'm gonna have to look into this a little more here, I think. Exam and claim. Housing point zero. Residence Lucera. Max occupants properties on deed. Color blue. So why is this red over here then? I'm confused. Alright, I'll have to look into this, figure it out, figure out what's going on, and I'll get back to you. Alright, so we're going to worry about the house thing later. We're going to get it finished first. But we're going to do, we're going to learn masonry before we do that. So in order for the masonry skill book, we just need two geology research paper basic, which are right here. 
you just need 15 stone for each. So I just need to go harvest 15 stone twice, which is easy. So, I mean, you just go right out her back door here. And right here, some stone. So we'll harvest 15. It's what, eight? Grab seven more, or or whatever, or 16. 16 total, it's fine. Oh, stairs. All right, so we'll make one. All right, well, that's cooking up. We'll go mine for the second one here. Oh, what's the, that's not something we can mine. So right here is though. And we can fill in these with dirt later. We have lots of dirt <laughs> to fill this in with. That is not a concern. So we need two more. There we go. So we'll have two extra, but that's fine. So the first one is done. So we'll do the second one. Boom. Done. 30 seconds to cook up. We'll go put this... Uh, Stone in the pile. And we will grab our shovel and start filling in. Filling in these gaps we made over here. And yeah, we could probably... Oh, wait. So how many can I do? Like five? How many did it let me grab? Only one more. But when you're putting on the shovel, you can only do one at a time, right? Or am I just terrible at this? Yeah, okay, you can only shovel one out at a time from the ground. That's what I thought. Alright, so we got, uh, we got our things now, so we can queue this up. Beautiful. Alright, so while that's working, we're going to continue to work on our house. Alright, so we are getting a bonus to XP 27.5. So that brings the total up to 214. So we're getting XP pretty quick now. It says we have a kitchen. We have a bedroom. We have a bathroom. And that makes sense because we have a bed in here to make it a bedroom. We have a latrine in here to make it a bathroom. And we have the butchering table in here to make it a kitchen. But I don't understand why this room won't count as a general room. Like it should. I don't know, maybe... Maybe the carpenter table's screwing it up somehow? Yep, it was. Alright, so where do we put the carpenter table then? I don't think it goes outside. Right? Like, can we put it in the bedroom and not screw up the bedroom? <laughs> Does it need to go inside? Could I put it outside? Well, it did screw up the bedroom. Alright, so let's pick it back up. We got to make it an extra room for the carpentry table, I wonder? Maybe? Put it here by the tool table. No, we can't use it out here. I mean, we can put it out here. All right, so we're going to have to <laughs> make our room, e our house even bigger, apparently, because we're going to need a room for work tables, I guess, so to speak. Guess we'll maybe go, I don't know, maybe go this way. This way. Well, if we go this, go. On this side, at least we don't have to dig up dirt. So can we sleep in this bed? Or we have to sleep in the other bed? No, we can sleep here. Okay. So technically, we could pick up this campsite. We don't need the campsite here anymore. Pick up all this stuff and organize it better. It's just kind of all over the place right now. And we did claim all this land as well. It's all claimed. 
it's all one continuous claim. Originally, I had two separate claims. That might have been screwing it up as well. But so yeah, so now I'm getting nice XP. I can put even more furniture in the rooms probably to make it even better. But I'm satisfied. I'm happy with that. That was our goal for today. And we did it. So now we have a skill point. We almost have another skill point. So we learned masonry. We could do masonry. The masonry table, I believe, has a lot of good stuff. We could build a masonry table now, couldn't we? It probably needs to go inside somewhere too. So it can it can hang out with the carpentry table. Let's see, what do we need for the masonry table? Well, we can just build it right now. Perfect. 30 seconds, we can do 30 seconds. Let's run around, harvest some tomatoes, kill 30 seconds. So I was thinking too, eventually, when we need electricity, we're gonna probably be able to put a water wheel in here or two to help give us electricity, which will be nice. I didn't even think of that when I picked this spot. It's just kind of happy, uh, happy coincidence, but I'll take it every time. All right, where do our tomatoes go? In here, we got a lot of tomatoes. We're gonna have to make some with tomatoes in it soon. We're gonna have to go hunting soon as well. All right, masonry table. I'm gonna stick this in the general room just to see if it's the same as the carpentry room, if it screws it up. Uh, is that the front? I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it does, does screw it up. But what can we do here? Well, we haven't picked masonry yet. Mortar, oh, we can make a mill. Mortared stone. See, most of the stuff you need more than masonry once. So we'd have to do... Oh, a kiln? Ooh, kiln would be good. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to do some mortared stone. I forget what it's used for. Can we build with mortared stone? Oh, we got some furniture options here, too. Stone chair, stone door, stone sign, stone brazier. All right, so we're going to have to make a... An extra room, though, uh, for our uh, for our crafting tables, I guess you'd call them. And then we will reorganize some stockpiles around that room. Um, but yeah, we'll put it out here, I would imagine. We can move all this stuff. I know there's stockpile still kind of full, but we can put a stockpile up here, probably, or right here. We'll figure it out, but that will be in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. Be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next one.